Hello, I'm going to show you how to make another delicious high calorie meal in my kitchen. Let's go. Welcome back to my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make a very tasty but very easy uh, high calorie meal. Great for after the gym, uh, great for the morning, very quick, very easy. Only uses these ingredients here. So let's get started. What do I have here? Today I'm going to show you how to make a bacon, egg and avocado sandwich, which sounded like a tune. That was a pretty good tune. Bacon, egg and avocado sandwich. Bacon, egg and avocado sandwich. Bacon, egg and avocado sandwich. So, I mean, that could be really the end of the video because it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure if I told you to go away now and make it, you'd know what to do. But I'm going to show you how to do it anyway because I'm supposed to be working right now and literally any excuse not to is good enough. So, let's get started. What are you going to need? Obviously you need some bread if you're going to make a sandwich. Now, I use a specific type of bread. Um, I mean, you guys in the United States may not have this brand, but basically it's bread that's um, brownish white. It's like in the middle. It's brown. No, it is brown bread, isn't it? Basically, it's bread that's got a lot of seeds. Yeah, basically, um, I always buy seeded bread, bread with seeds, and brown bread, just because I, as, as good as white bread tastes, it is really, really, like, highly processed and just a bit, a bit bad for you. And this bread actually tastes amazing. I know sometimes brown bread can taste boring, but this tastes amazing. The seeds are great. Um, fully recommend buying seeded bread. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, a large egg, which I'm just going to fry, fried egg. Um, I'm going to use two or three rashes of bacon. Not sure yet. Probably three because I do love bacon. And finally an avocado. Now, avocados are amazing. Um, they are so good for putting on weight. They're so good for you in general. Even if you're not trying to put on weight, you should eat avocados. It's a superfood, uh, whatever that means these days. Okay, while I'm doing this, I should tell you that I bought a new microphone to make this video because my last video was, the audio was not that great. And I've got a little lapel microphone down here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly or if this is going to be horrendously bad audio. If it is, I do apologise and I will fix it next time. Um, but hopefully it will work. Okay. Actually, no, what am I doing? We don't do this first. First thing I'm going to do is make the egg and the bacon because that's the only part that needs cooking. And I'm going to take you with me. Come on. Okay, so first thing you do, just heat up a frying pan, not hard. Put a bit of oil or a bit of butter in it just to uh, make sure the food doesn't stick to the frying pan, which is always a nightmare. So just put a bit of oil in there. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to use two rashes of bacon because I would love to use three, but, um, you know, red meat and all that shouldn't make too much. So yeah, just putting the bacon on the frying pan. Um, it's going to take a couple minutes to fry. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to make the egg as well so they're all kind of ready at the same time. And that's basically all we need to do apart from spread the thing on the thing. That's it. Just been to the gym, done back day, um, some barbell rows. I'm very bad at barbell rows. I feel like I'm always spreading my arms out like that, but I need to get my form right. Oh yeah, I love the bacon. So bacon cooks fairly rapidly, so just turn it over every few minutes. Oh, I'm starting to get that bacon smell. You know what it's like when bacon's cooking and you smell it. It's like salivating. It's only been like two minutes, so um, you're going to want to then start cooking your egg once you start smelling the bacon because it's going to be done pretty quickly. So, crack an egg. Right, so I just cracked an egg into another frying pan and that's going to cook fairly quickly, I think. Okay, this bacon is cooking faster than I thought it would, so we're going to swap these around because this hob is hotter. 
Yes, look at that bacon. Bacon, egg, and avocado sandwich. Bacon, egg, and avocado sandwich. Bacon. Okay, so now that that is all basically done, um, the only thing left to do, I guess, is to put it all together. But what I'm gonna do is get my bread and I'm gonna lightly toast it. Only very lightly, uh, not like full on toast, but just so it's a little bit thicker, a little bit harder, just cause it gives it a nice texture, I think. Um, and eggs are very runny and avocado is very runny. So you don't want it to kind of destroy the bread. So I think if you just lightly toast it, it makes it taste a bit better and it makes the texture a bit better. So if you don't like that, then don't bother, but I'm just gonna do it. So yeah, I'm literally toasting it for like one minute. And then it's all gonna be good, it's all gonna be done. Good, I'm so hungry. Right, while that's happening, you can start preparing your avocado. You only need to use one avocado because there is a lot of, lot of stuff in one avocado. Oh God. Avocado. Yeah, that egg is definitely done. So let's just put that to the side. Beautiful egg and bacon, yes. Okay, so um, you may never have encountered an avocado before. You may never have eaten one. So I'm just gonna show you what to do to basically eat it. Cause to be honest, like it was only in the past few years I ever had an avocado. So I don't know, maybe that's just me and I'm weird. But so what you do is get your avocado. There may be better ways of doing this. There is a huge, huge seed in here, which you can't eat, obviously. So you need to get the seed out. Um, so, I mean, all I do is make an incision into the avocado and then you'll feel it stop, which is where the seed is. Um, and then I just go all the way around. Okay, all the way around. Oh, I missed the... Try and then join where you cut the first time. There we go. And then just squeeze it out. Woo, there we go. And that is how you de-cork or de... I don't know, de pit an avocado. Look at the size of that. Okay. Right. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so the bread is still soft, but a little bit crunchy. It's just gonna make it much easier to spread everything. And because it's warm, everything will kind of melt. Um, I mean, I don't know if there may be better ways of doing this, to be honest, but I just wanna get the avocado stuff. To be honest, this isn't a particularly ripe avocado. You want them to be quite ripe because the riper they are, then the easier the, um, the avocado is to spread. I'm pretty bad at spreading things. I don't know why. It's just a, something that I've never quite managed to master. Oh, it's all going wrong. Right. Get out. There must be a better way of doing this. I do apologize. This is retarded, right. Oh, look, it doesn't matter how you spread it. It's all gonna go in your mouth, innit? So, I may have just shown you the worst way to spread an avocado onto a slice of bread, but look, nobody's gonna care in a minute because guess what? Bacon and egg is coming. Bacon. I used to be obsessed with bacon. Don't eat it as much now because I'm a bit of a health freak. Come on, you twat. Now, I think that already looks fantastic. So that's literally it, really. Um, well, obviously I'm gonna put them together. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, delicious. There we have it. A bacon, egg and avocado sandwich. So it would literally take you 10 minutes to make this. And let's go through the calories and the, the, the nutrients. Um, Cause I've got all the stuff here, so I might as well. Two rashes of bacon is uh, 102 calories and 11.4 grams of protein. What about bread, bread, bread? Per slice, bread is uh, 137 calories and 5.6 grams of protein. Oh God, I should probably write all this shit down. And what else do I have? An egg, a large egg, 85 calories and it doesn't say how much protein. That's annoying. And the avocado. Okay, so it's got 150 calories and two grams of protein. Calculations. 
Ooh. Okay, so it's got 617 calories and 25.2 grams of protein, plus however much protein is in a large egg. So at least 25, probably 30 grams of protein in this and um, nearly 700 calories, which you could easily make two of these and um, it'd be 1,200 and it's gonna be quite easy to make. You can put sauce on it, you put anything. Basically, it's a really easy meal. So that's it for today. I'm desperate to eat this now because it's smelling like bacon and mm, bacon. I hope this was helpful and I hope you like uh, my recipes. If you do, give me a thumbs up and let me know so that I know to continue doing them. I've got some more ideas coming up. Um, so yeah, check me out in the next few weeks. So good luck with your weight gaining. Good luck with your gym. Um, have a great day. Have a great week. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.